Hello, I'm Anna, your virtual guide to SonarWorks software. In this tutorial, we'll dive into the target mode features in Sound ID Reference. Target mode is a DSP feature that adjusts the frequency response target curve to suit your individual monitoring needs and helps you achieve the best mix translation for your target audience. There are four target modes available, flat target, Dolby, custom target, and translation check. The flat and Dolby targets are relatively basic, while the custom and translation check targets are packed with additional functionality and sub-targets. Translation check also features additional spatial simulation targets for headphones, enabled by the virtual monitoring add-on. We'll get to that shortly. To help us visualize the impact of each mode, let's navigate to the frequency response curve view and select the following curves to be displayed. Simulated after calibration, and target. By default, the flat target mode will be selected. To switch to a different target, simply click on one of the other options. As soon as a different target mode is selected, we'll see the according target label appear on the output preset we're engaged with. The target mode selection is saved automatically, and it effectively becomes a part of the preset we're working with. The flat target mode is your baseline. It calibrates your speakers, or headphones to the Sound ID Studio reference standard for a flat frequency response. Based on neutral sounding speakers in a treated room, Sound ID SR defines the sound target for all speakers and headphones calibrated by SonarWorks software. The coloration of your monitoring setup is eliminated, and you're hearing an accurate representation of your production work. This is the most effective monitoring solution to ensure your mixes sound consistently great everywhere, from high-end studio monitors to everyday consumer headphones. All other target modes following below are also based on the flat target, and further target adjustments are made with a flat response already in place. Next up is the Dolby target. Perfect for immersive audio production, this mode delivers sound that matches the Dolby tuning in the world's best Atmos studios. If you do have a multi-channel setup, this would be your primary target mode, but it can also be used with headphones or regular stereo speaker setups. It's a fixed target, and it won't allow for any further adjustments. The custom target mode offers flexibility. Once selected, you will see familiar parametric EQ controls. We can add, move, edit, drag, or delete the filters to create our custom target. Custom Target allows you to adjust the profile to your professional needs, personal preferences, or other specific workflows. Whether it's boosting the bass or fine-tuning the average calibration profile for your headphone model, Custom Target Mode puts you in control. We can also grab the calibration range markers and set the calibration to affect a certain frequency range only or invert that range by clicking here. Click on the drop-down arrow to reveal a custom presets sub-menu with more controls to operate with. To start with, let's click on Save as a new preset to ensure our preset is backed up in a file. From here, we can load previously created presets, rename them, continue to modify them, and save the changes made. If we exit the sub-menu, we can use the arrows here to quickly switch between the custom presets we've saved. The files backing up each preset enable another cool feature, transferring our presets to a different device or sharing them with other Sound ID reference users. To do this, simply copy and transfer the JSON files from the custom target presets folder. See detailed instructions in the description below. Translation check is about context. How does your mix sound in a car, on a smartphone, or through TV speakers? This tool is packed with simulations, allowing you to experience your mix in a specific environment and highlighting the elements that may need adjustment. For example, you might be creating content primarily for smartphone users. With the smartphone average target, you can ensure that the low end of your mix is coming through. And by checking against the in-ear average and other targets, you can make sure your adjustments work well across other devices too. Furthermore, if you're used to cross-referencing your mix on industry standard secondary speakers, you'll find the target simulation for these speakers to be a quicker, more efficient alternative, 
possibly even eliminating the need for physical secondary speakers. You can even simulate the sound of specific headphone models. Just go to the headphone targets, click on Add a Headphone Profile, and choose from over 500 models supported in our library. This is especially useful for tailoring your mix to your audience's preferences, like fine-tuning gaming audio to sound optimal on popular gaming headphones. To access your go-to presets quickly, mark your favorites by clicking on the heart icon and switch between them using the arrows. Translation Check Now also features spatial simulation targets for headphones developed exclusively for the virtual monitoring add-on. Virtual monitoring is a feature that simulates a spatial speaker listening experience on headphones, allowing music to sound as if it's being played through professional stereo speakers in a well-treated control room. If we return to translation check with virtual monitoring enabled, we'll find new spatial simulation targets for cars, laptops, smartphones, and more. For example, activating the average smartphone spatial target will simulate the sensation of holding a smartphone in front of you. Custom target mode can also be used with virtual monitoring enabled. Keep in mind that virtual monitoring is a paid add-on. A free trial for it is available in your Sonarworks account. To conclude, the target mode you choose depends entirely on your workflow, personal preferences, and the target audience of your production work. If you are just getting started with sound ID reference, and are unsure which mode to use, we recommend the default flat target to start with. As you're getting more familiar with the features and workflow, start exploring the other available target modes. Subscribe to our channel for more support videos. Thanks for watching.